What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 26 of On Shape. I know I'm going to be cranking out more, more than one day of videos of today, but I finally have a moment to sit down and do a couple of different things on On Shape. So don't shoot me. I know day 25, 26, and 27 will all be on one day. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create this part, uh, drawing three, I believe, uh, in On Shape using subtractive modeling only. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our big block, and then we're going to whittle pieces away until we get just what we want. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create this block. Now my scale is in a uh, half inch grid. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't count that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that means on my sketch here in this front plane is going to be my rectangle, there we go, what's the dimension? So seven would be three and a half inches wide, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would then be three inches tall. Okay, my sketch is fully constrained, and I know that because all the lines here are blackened. So I hit the green check mark, and we're ready to extrude. And so we're gonna extrude this back uh, what's going to be, uh, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's going to be 2.5 inches in depth. Okay, hit the green check mark and we're looking okay so far. Let me see if I get that right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to start using that subtractive model. We're going to take away those layers. So I'm going to click on sketch on this front face. First thing I'm going to do is take away this top rectangular piece. And so right click, hit view normal two, we're sketching on this front of this cube right here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a line down and around. And what we're gonna do is we're going to extrude backwards and to subtract or take away from our cube what we have so far. All I need to do is dimension this uh, width right here is one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be 2.5 inches. And then my height here is going to be uh, 0 0.5 inches as well. Hit the green check mark and it looks like we're good to go. I'm going to hit Shift E for extrude and we're going to flip our direction. Click on remove and we're going to remove this back to one, two, three, four. So we're going to go back with a depth of two inches. Hit the green check mark and we've subtracted, we've taken away from our model so far. Okay, we're going to do really quick, we're going to do it for the next piece down here. So I'm going to click on sketch, this front face again, right click, hit view normal two, and the same thing we did before. We're going to draw our rectangle right here. We're going to dimension its width as one, two, three, four. So that's two inches by, this looks like one inch. So make sure we still got dimensions. One inch, hit the green check mark, and there we go. Shift E for extrude. We're going to flip this around, click remove, and then for a depth of 1.5 inches. Hit the green check mark, and there we go. Okay, the next thing that's gonna be the most tricky part is this circle, this hole we're gonna take out. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click on sketch. We're gonna go on this top plane right here, right click, hit view normal two, and we're gonna throw a circle in there. Don't quite know the dimensions of my circle yet, but we're gonna add those here in a second. So I'm gonna click D on my keyboard. I'm still in that sketch for that circle and I'm able to edit it at an angle, which I find really helpful sometimes when you're looking at some things not straight on. So I, here I notice is that my circle goes all the way through, but how wide is it? It looks like the diameter of this circle is two squares wide. So the diameter of my circle here is going to be one inch. Okay, as far as the center, it's really kind of difficult to eyeball where the center is going to be at. So it looks like we are right smack dab in the middle of one and a half blocks. So 
That means the dimension, I'll click on dimension, between the, this center and this line is a three quarters of an inch. Look at that, it's already there. Hit enter. And then from the center of this circle to the side edge looks like one inch. There we go. Hit the green check mark and now we're ready to go. So I'm gonna hit Shift E for extrude. Onshape likes to predict that you want to know what to happen. So very frequently, we're gonna to have to go the opposite direction with subtractive modeling, click on remove, and then pull it all the way through. Hit the green check mark and there we go. We are looking wonderful as far as making this piece. What we're going to do now is we're going to click on plus. We're going to create this drawing using some template files we've already created. Oop, I accidentally deleted those. Let me do that real quick. Downloads. There we go. Got our inch. Okay, so plus create drawing created by me inch. Click OK. So this is a title block created for my school, for my students. So uh, in any, either case, make sure that the title block you're using is going to be in inches and not millimeters. OK, so now we'll bring this part in. And then we got our front, we got our right, front and top, front and ISO. Okay, we've got our front, right, top, and isometric views thrown in. All I'm gonna do is go back over here real quick and rename this part. I think this is what we'll call this drawing three. Okay, and then our drawing name, we're gonna name it as, uh, you know, activity 1.2.4. Okay, alrighty. Let's go ahead now and Take our isometric, hit right click, show shaded view. We've already done this before, so it shouldn't be new for you. And then let's start, start throwing in our dimensions. However, we don't see our hidden lines. So I'm gonna select all of my sketch, all my views once, hit right click, show hidden lines. And then now we're ready to start adding our dimensions. So I'm gonna click on D for dimension. I'm gonna start from the bottom up, so I got this line to this line is 1.5 inches, is 2.5, and then top or top to bottom is 3 inches. Okay, as far as my height goes, I believe that's all the dimensions we need. We still need dimensions for our hole, but it'd be much better if we had our dimensions up here rather than on our hidden lines. So the next thing I'm gonna do is do my width. So let's click on, uh, we got this one to this one. It's gonna be one inch. 1.5. And total width right there as 3.5. Okay, again, I'm not touching any of my circle dimensions because we're gonna do that up here on the top and we don't need this on my front view. Okay. We're getting a little scrunch. I'm just going to go ahead and move this up just a little bit and move this down. And what we notice is that the views snap with it. Okay, so now let's add in our center marks. So our center lines. So we'll click on our center lines. We got that one. And we got that one. Center mark for our circle. centered lines for our circle. And now let's add some of our final dimensions. So the diameter of that hole is one inch. Still in that dimension. That hole is one inch from top to bottom. Okay, oh, click something not quite right. Let's try that again, dimension. Okay, now I very intentionally did this, is that some uh, students were gonna, you're gonna start stacking your dimensions. This is really just kind of some ugly drawing practices. 
So what we're going to do is, it's in there, but we want to move this one. So I'm going to click and drag it out of the way. And there we go. Now, very quickly, let's just do our checklist. Um, is everything about this hole dimensioned on this hole? We got where it's at and how big it is, and it's all the way through. Looks good. We got our total width dimensions. We got our total height dimensions. So actually, we don't need this view at all. So I can click on it once and delete it, and there we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions about this part, feel free to throw them down in the comment sections or reach me however you need to. This is starting to get into some really fun stuff dealing with Onshape, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.